Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. Today we are going to talk about unit load method or it is also called by virtual work method. It is a very useful metho method to determine slope and deflection of a beam. Let's start. Suppose I have a beam and there are some there are some loads here let's see one and you have to determine its slope and deflection at some other point so by this method you have to choose another beam of same length and have to apply a virtual load on that point let's that that is p2 so the, the formula of the deflection is p2 into delta is equals to integration of m1 m2 dx by ei so what is m1 m2 m1 is the moment at any section of the first beam and m2 is moment at any section of the second beam due to the applied loads in the respective beams now if you put p2 equal to 1 then you get the deflection so that's why this method is called unit load method if you want to get the slope at that point then you have to apply unit moment there then you get the slope at that point in this video we are going to talk about cantilever beam subjected to a uniformly sub, uh, subjected to an uniformly distributed load and we are going to determine the slope and deflection at the tip of the beam this is our cantilever beam subjected to a UDL let's W unit per meter and we have to calculate the slope and deflection at this point so according to the unit load method for determining the slope you have to create a virtual beam and have to apply a n and unit moment there so the sign convention of this method is the sagging moment is positive hogging moments is negative and if you get the deflection in positive sign it means the deflection or slope is in the direction of the applied loads draw the bending moment diagram of the first beam that is the actual beam it is like this and it is the negative sign and this coordinate is w squared by 2 where l is the length of the beam and here it is a constant minus 1 it's a bending moment diagram on that beam so you have throughout the bending moment diagram now take a section at a distance of x from here you have to calculate the moment at this section for the first and the second beam it is x so it will be l minus x so m1 is minus w into l minus x squared by 2 and m2 is constant so it is 
minus 1. So the slope theta will be integration of 0 to L m1 into m2 dx by ei dx by ei put the values of m1 and m2 you get put the values in the limits so it is 0 minus L Q. So you get W L Q by 6 EI. You are applying a hogging moment and read the slope positive so it means the slope is in the direction of the applied moment that is um, the cantilever being the slope is this slope this is w a q by 6 pi now it's time to go get the deflection at that point for deflection you have to apply a unit point load at that point so at a distance of x the bending moment diagram is like this and it is also hogging at a, dis at a distance uh, x we have to calculate the m1 and m2 m1 is um, minus w l minus x square by 2 this value is L and this value is minus L minus X. So M2 is minus of L minus X. So what is the deflection? So we get W L to the power 4 by ATI. It is the positive, so it means it is in the direction of the applied loads. So the uh, deflection of the beam, this value is W L to the power 4 by ATI. This is a simple unit load method. Here the internal virtual work is considered mainly due to bending and the shearing forces, axial forces, uh, is a very small compared comparing to the bending moment. That's why in this method those are neglected. Thanks for watching being civil. Stay tuned, stay subscribed. Bye.